Now let's look at equations with fractions. So <clears throat> remembering that when we need to add or subtract fractions, we need common denominators. And when we multiply and divide fractions, we need improper fractions. So I'm gonna go through my same first step. I'm gonna draw my line down my equal sign. I'm gonna highlight my variable. I see that I have a positive 3 fifths. I know that I'm gonna to need to subtract. So what I'm actually gonna do first before I do any of that process so that I can keep it all lined up is I'm going to automatically rewrite in the way that I need it for adding and subtracting. So I'm gonna rewrite these with common denominators. Five and three, their least common multiple is 15. So I'm gonna rewrite my fractions with a denominator of 15. Five times three is 15, three times three is nine. Three times five is 15, two times five is 10. Now I'm gonna go through the solving process. I've got positive 9 fifteenths, I wanna get rid of it, so I'm subtracting 9 fifteenths from both sides. It should cancel out on the side with the variable to zero, so we're left with y alone. And then 10 fifteenths minus 9 fifteenths is 1 fifteenth. All right, number two. Drawing my line down the equal sign. Highlighting my variable. Again, I'm looking and I see that I'm subtracting. I've got a constant here, a negative that I need to add. Since I'm adding, I'm gonna need common denominators. So first thing, I'm gonna rewrite these fractions with common denominators. Nine and six, their least common multiple, their least common denominator is 18. Six times three is 18, five times three is 15. Nine times two is 18, eight times two, four times two is eight. Now we're gonna solve. We were subtracting 15 and eight, 18s, or we have a negative here, so we get rid of it by adding. It should cancel out on this side with the variable. We're left with just y equals on this side, we're also adding 15 and 8 18 15 plus 8 is 23 over 18. 2 plus 15 is 17. But that is an improper fraction. So we add 1 to our 17 to make it 18, and we have 5 left over. Drawing our line down the equal sign, highlighting our variable. When we look at this, it's being multiplied. When we multiply fractions, when we have that, we need to divide by fractions. By When we're multiplying fractions, we need to divide, and when we're multiplying and dividing fractions, we need improper fractions. So I'm gonna immediately rewrite this with improper fractions. So we have negative 5 ninths x, equals 2 times 12 is 24 plus 1 is 25. So negative 25 over 12. Now that it's rewritten, I'm going to go through my solving process. It's being multiplied by negative 5 nines, so I'm going to divide by negative 5 nines since we already have, um, since it's a fraction, I'm okay with using the division sign. These will cancel out. We're left with just x equals when we divide, we need to keep it, switch it, flip it. Keep it as negative 25 over 12. Switch it from division to multiplication. Flip it from negative 5 over 9 to negative 9 over 5. Now I'm going to look to see if I can simplify. So if I'm looking at my two diagonals here, I've got... 12 and 9 in one of the diagonals, and I've got 25 and 5. Those both simplify. 25 and 5 divide by 5. 
9 and 12 divide by 3. So we get x equals 25 divided by 5 is 5, 12 divided by 3 is 4, 9 divided by 3 is 3, 5 divided by 5 is 1. And then I'm just multiplying across. 5 times 3 is 15, 4 times 1 is 4, a negative times a negative is a positive. You can leave your answer as an improper fraction, or if you'd like, you can turn it into a mixed number. Number four. Again, we've got a number right next to our variable, which means we have multiplication, so we need to divide to solve. When we multiply and divide fractions, we need improper fractions. So I'm gonna immediately rewrite them with improper fractions. One times eight is eight plus three is 11. So negative 11 eighths x equals five sixths. Now I'm gonna go through my solving process. It's being multiplied by negative 11 eighths. So I'm gonna divide by a negative 11 eighths on both sides. It should cancel out on the side with the variable. And then here we need to keep it, switch it, flip it. Let's check our diagonals to see if it simplifies at all. 5 and 11 in one diagonal, 6 and 8 in the other. 5 and 11, they don't divide by anything other than 1. 6 and 8 divide by 2. 5 divided by 1 is 5. 11 divided by 1 is 11. 6 divided by 2 is 3. 8 divided by 2 is 4. And then I'm multiplying across. 5 times 4 is 20. 3 times 11 is 33. Positive times a negative is a negative. And again, well that one actually isn't improper. That one's fine to leave that way because it's just a fraction. All right, number five, drawing my line down the equal sign, highlighting my variable. The operation that I see is addition, so I know that I'm gonna need improper, or sorry, I know that I'm gonna need uh, to have common denominators. These already have common denominators, so I actually don't need to rework it at all. So I'm just gonna start solving. We notice this is a two-step equation. So I'm first gonna get rid of my constants. So we've got plus two-thirds, I'm gonna get rid of it by subtracting two-thirds from both sides. I get y over nine equals, we can't do one minus two, so we borrow the two becomes one, one plus three is four-thirds. So we get four minus two is two thirds and one minus zero is one. Now, y is being divided by nine, so the opposite is gonna be to multiply. Before I do that, I'm gonna rewrite this as an improper fraction. So I get y over nine equals one times three is three plus two is five thirds. Now I'm going to show my multiplication. I'm going to multiply this side by 9 so that it cancels. I'm going to multiply this side by 9 or 9 over 1. And we get y equals, I'm going to check my diagonals to see if they simplify. Five and one only divide by one. Nine and three only divide by three. Five divided by one is five. Three divided by three is one. Nine divided by three is three. One divided by one is one. So we get y equals 15 over one, or y equals 15.
All right, let's look at number six. Drawing our line down the equal sign. First things first is we've got negative 13. We're going to need to add it. They are already just constant, so we don't need to change anything right now. So I've got a negative 13. I'm going to get rid of it by adding 13 to both sides. Those cancel out. Be careful when we're rewriting because this is a negative 1 fourth h that's left. Equals 7 plus 13 is 20. Now, I have multiplication, I'm gonna to need to divide, and when we multiply and divide, we need to have improper fractions. So I just right now, I'm gonna write this as 20 over one. H was being multiplied by negative one fourth, so I'm going to divide by negative one fourth on both sides. It cancels out on this side, we're left with just H equals. Over here, we need to keep it, switch it, and flip it. I'm gonna double check my diagonals to see if they simplify by anything. All that they divide by is one, so I can just multiply across. 20 times negative four is negative 80 over one, or just negative 80. All right, number seven, drawing our line down the equal sign. Looking first, we've got um, just constant, so I don't need to change anything yet. So I've got negative 12, I need to get rid of it by adding 12 to both sides. That cancels out. Don't forget, this is a negative six sevenths x. 10 plus 12 is 22. Now I've got my number next to my variable, which means multiplication. I'm gonna to need to divide to solve. When I multiply and divide, I need improper fractions, so I'm gonna write this as 22 over one. Now I'm going to solve. So I'm gonna solve by dividing by negative six sevenths on both sides. It cancels out on the side with the variable. Over here, I need to keep it, switch it, flip it. Keep it as 22 over one switch it from division and multiplication, flip it from negative six over seven to negative seven over six. Now we're gonna look at our diagonals to see if anything simplifies. 22 and six both divide by two. Seven and one only divide by one. So 22 divided by two is 11, one divided by one is one, seven divided by one is seven, six divided by two is three. So we get 11 times seven is 77, one times three is three, it was a positive times a negative, so it is a negative result. And last one, drawing our line down the equal sign, highlighting our variable. We need to get rid of our constants first since they're just constants. We don't need to change anything for the, um, for the fractions wise. Right now we're just going to subtract 24 to get rid of it cancels out on the side with the variable, so we're left with negative 3 fourths x equals 8 minus 24 is negative 16. We have now multiplication. We're going to need to divide. When we multiply and divide fractions, I need them to be improper, so I'm going to write this over 1. Now I'm going to start solving. x is being multiplied by negative 3 fourths, so I'm going to divide by negative 3 fourths. So I'm gonna rewrite this over here. Negative 16 over one divided by negative three fourths equals x. Now I need to keep it, switch it, flip it. Keep it as negative 16 over one, 
switch it from division to multiplication, flip it from negative 3 over 4 to negative 4 over 3, and then check our diagonals. Sixteen and three don't divide by anything. Four and one don't divide by anything. So I'm just going to multiply across. Sixteen times four is sixty-four. One times three is three. A negative times a negative is a positive. And that's it.